could be among the fighters leading the next wave of welterweights in, in one of the most intriguing matchups of 2016. This won two more bouts heading into his first work trip to Brazil. Three of those by submission. Coming up next, it should be a good one. So here is the Black Silly he believes right now. He's one of, if not the best one. In and out of the clinch very well. Outstanding athlete, strong when he feet. The easier it becomes for him, the more difficult they have. You know, and made his UFC debut about a year and a half ago. Nebraska and Kearney, they won a team title, and then he won a national title. Catch up with the draft. And I feel like he's got some power in his hands. It's really just going to be now it's more of a transitional weapon to get to his bread and butter so that he can get on top. See a victim. Hype and expectations in his own right since winning the Ultimate Fighter Brazil back. Could be something he looks back on as, as the greatest point. A little overconfident, and he learned some very good lessons. You know, when you go on a first round submissions, you forget how to fight those Wubix martial artists. And with the kind of mindset it takes to beat. Prevailing wisdom is that if we do reach a third round, it will be advanced. But ultimately, for Wally Alves, four and one. Art Sale on the tape is sponsored by Usman, 29 years old, representing Nigeria. Usman is one. Usman has a reach advantage of four inches. All right, now for the introduction. The weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton. Uh, and now introducing his opponent, fighting. Just tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Kamaru Usman said of Alves, he's a tough danger. I just have to show the world that. We'll see if Kamaru Usman can do Spoke about the guillotine that Worley Alves possesses. Many wins by that, submits that over and over and over again. And Alves point early for Usman. Well, Alves said in this fight, look, everybody's pressing. And there's a nice counter right hand landed by Alves. After Usman, two fighters top to bottom on the roster work harder. As athletic and powerful as he is, they're hard to stop. But another nice combination there. Jab is there for Usman. I like the footwork from Al. Pretty good counter shot. He's won all of his fights by decision in the UFC so far. He just grows in confidence. 25 times three. Yakovlev penalized in that fight. Who could blame Yakovlev for grabbing the fence? I mean, he just didn't have any other choice. He had no... 75% finishing rate coming in for Usman. It's the fence. And I think he's caught Alves off guard here because he's trapped him a few times against the fence. Usman smirks back at him like it didn't hurt. Left hook is there for the Nigerian Nightmare. Just over two minutes. Again, this footwork from Alves could be one of the reasons why we have... Huge learning tool for him moving forward. So far, pretty good tonight. Absolutely. Nice counter left hand. Two of them from Worley Elvis. Excellent timing. And... Usman's got it. Guys, now with a minute left. It wouldn't surprise you, Usman. He looked for the takedown late. The kick this time to the body from Worley Elvis. Changes and gone to the body, which really makes it hard for Usman to level change. Zero shots for Kamaru Usman as we wind it down here in round one. It's in this round as well. After Usman appeared to land an uppercut on the stretch here, round one. Nobody goes there? Or what? Okay. Go straight. there. Please. That's your game, bro. Keep your left hand up and be careful because he's coming up. Go. That's confidence. The UFC makes a quick return to the Derek the Black Beast Lewis looks to put an exclamation point on fight card coming your way December 9th. You can only see it at the fighters had their moments in round one. Warley Alves is in yellow, Kamar Usman in green. Got to finish the round and then they continue to trash talk each other until they got he loves going to this guillotine. Smartly abandoned it's there, abandons it there when he really them inside the octagon already. Heard his corner tell him, hey. Get back to your game, close the distance. Picks in some elbows here on the clutch. Can't get lazy here. He's already given up a minute now with his back on the fence. 
just know this is about as exhausting as it gets inside. Yeah, very, very. And when you have a guillotine like he does. Yeah, drilling the defense of that. That's how your wrestling opens up your striking. Kamaru Usman doing a nice job. Thanks for Kamaru Usman coming in here. He appears to be the fresher fighter as we go up. His jaw is pretty low, taking in some deep breaths. Nice off the fence, and now going to that front kick. Snapping into the abdomen. Nice stiff jab is there for Usman. couldn't escape. He's really using this clinch now to catch his breath. You can see Warley. How many times he tug on that thing? Come on, ref. For Warley Alves, not a good sign. Alves hit the target. And Usman still continues to talk trash. Kamar Usman, no denying the confidence. You gotta win. On UFC Fight Night, sponsored by Budweiser, this bud's for you. Plan here in round three. He runs into a stiff jab, though. He saw Elvis smile there for a minute. Alves just out of range with that uppercut. Huh? Usman looking to faint a little bit. Doesn't want to get timed coming. Mar Usman, who also maximized his reach on that combination. Look at him. There. Alves won UFC fight night. Jump. Right hands for Usman. Alves can only cover up here. Get really tired. The timing is... Mar Usman going in at 10 as a senior. Usman appears to be okay. He just put his fist. Could get tighter here. Alves trying to. And he's got to continue to fight the hands and just. For Kamal Usman as he gets out and. Now trying to make it there. When a lot of people criticize Usman for not being against about his game. I mean, he has gone for the finish repeatedly here. And Alves. The referee there briefly thought maybe he should have intervened. Good crucifix here from Usman. Both arms. Alves gives the thumbs up despite all the unanswered elbows. It's still that and gotten a stoppage. No quit in Worley Alves. Well, an exchange where Worley Alves caught him well, but a dominant third round for Kamar. Swipe. Outstanding, but now in a position. Usman's only submission win in his career came by way of the arm triangle. Particular to your opponent. Going to take a lot more strength to do that. 33 seconds and counting. We'll see if he can tighten it up here. Very relaxed here. But look at the adjustment from Usman. Making it tighter as he... So Alves... Sir Robert Whitaker and Derek Brunson. Coverage begins next Saturday on that. Ladies and gentlemen, after three racks and 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision. Big road win tonight. Estamos aqui com o Camaro Umas. Você queria deixar um recado hoje à noite? Você. Hey, São Paulo, Brasil! Win with this win. You know that's a tough mofo right there. It was tough to get. These are the contenders right here. That are coming next to replace those top half striking. Well, you saw that. Eu queria deixar os próximos desafiantes aqui e o Arley é mais um deles muito duro. E o Bento dominante no UFC, quem você acha que é o próximo passo? 
You know what? I'm, I'm going to give it up. Damian Meyer, he's done his job. He's been at the top for a long time. Put him up. You don't want to wait for that three ring circle. Eu vou dizer mais uma vez, eu sou o melhor grappler, o melhor lutador de chão da categoria. O Dagger me bota para lutar com ele. Deixa ele aquecido. Put it all together tonight, man. Keep putting him away. Dana, se você fizer essa luta, eu vou acabar. All right, the move of the fight is sponsored by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the blade striking. Just like he said in his post-fight speech, showed he's much more than just a wrestler.